Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ace Games TV. My name is Mioni, and today we're looking at something brand new in the 5.4 World of Warcraft patch coming to you probably in the next couple of months. So today I want to show you something on the Timeless Isle. Yes, we have finally got access to the island. It is like God knows how many months into the PTR already, and we're finally getting all of this content to test. And it's a bit much, to be honest. This island is fantastic. But today I'm going to show you something in particular. Today we're going to show you a transformation item, which took me about four hours to figure out how you got. Okay, so first of all, what you need to do is you need to open your map, and you need to go to this location. Now there are, as far as I can tell, up to two to three spawns. However, I do not know where the other two spawn. So this is my only confirmed spawn point for this transformation item. Now, I say item, but it's actually a bug that you acquire from clicking on a particular item and this particular item is located against a wall on the map where I am now. Now it's going to take a couple of minutes to spawn now you may see people like AFK there or invisible like me personally I'm going to have to stealth here because otherwise you know I'm going to aggro all of these mobs and the mobs around this area are very painful at the moment. I'm not sure if they'll go live like this but they can pretty much kill me in two to three hits. Um, with their charge abilities and fire. So we're going to avoid combat for the most part. But thankfully, this buff that I will acquire persists through death, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So we're going to basically wait until this axe spawns that will be called the Hammer of the Fire Lord. Now this hammer is essentially, well, it's actually an axe, and it will be propped up against this wall exactly here. And there it is. So what we do is we right-click on this, we're going to break our stealth, obviously we're going to aggro everything in the area, but we're going to run away, and you can see that I get turned into a Yawn Gull. Now, if you're not familiar with what Yawn Gull are, they're like Tauren, but the Missa Pandaria equivalent. Uh, and indeed, Ordus is the Fire God version of that, and he is indeed a, a Yawn Gull. And these people here are worshipping him, that's why they're on fire. So, apart from that, this buff really is quite cool. It lasts for one hour. And, of course, you don't get an item from this. It is literally just a buff. Now, this does persist through death. Um, so, of course, you can die and you will come back with it. And it's got some really interesting, quite frankly, overpowered abilities on the island. However, three of the abilities can be used everywhere else in the world if you can get summoned by a friend there. However, only one of them can be used on the island. Now, this one is probably one of the most destructive and creative things you'll ever see in World of Warcraft. This is the ability to create obsidian walls. Now, just bear in mind that these walls basically block anybody from passing through an area. So you can block off bridges, you can block off mountain passes. You have no idea how long it took me to get this item simply because of the amount of trolling by people with this. It's hilarious, but in a bad way. So... This thing is huge. As you can see, you can stack this thing. Um, these obsidian blocks, you can basically zoom your camera out and place them on top of each other. But that's all they do. They block the entry to places. They have no real purpose. Um, and indeed, the buff itself doesn't seem to have much of a purpose at the moment. And indeed, obviously, this is the PTR, so everything is very much, you know, pre-development sort of idea stage. Um, and, of course, they're going to have to limit the areas which you can use this buff, and indeed the abilities, because it's a bit overpowered. But I thought I'd show this off. Um, the first ability is actually the number two ability on your bar. This is like a conal damage effect. It currently doesn't do any damage, but it looks really cool. It looks kind of like a, a Devastate, or a... Uh, what's that move on Will of the Emperor fight? Uh, Annihilate, there you go, where it's a frontal cone in front of you, and you swing your axe down. Again, that's not finished, the animation isn't final. Uh, the second ability is like a fiery ring that will emanate after a while. It's a cast timer, um, which will do damage to people. That indeed does like ticklish damage at the moment. It's more of a cosmetic effect. Um, but as you can see, you can use it um, on lesser mobs and things. So the final ability we're looking at now is the fourth one across on the bars, but indeed the fifth one I'm looking at now is the ability to trap uh, friendly and hostile NPCs. Now, this trap, this obsidian trap type thing, is uh, you get a reticle and you can place up to three of these for any 
uh, at any one time before the first one despawns, obviously. So you can put three of these down, and it lasts for a couple of seconds and will root pretty much anything in place for that time. So this works on friendly NPCs, aggressive mobs, aggressive players, uh, people dueling outside of Orgrimmar, literally everybody. But obviously this is a cancel aura macro uh, cancelled ability it is actually a buff that you gain on your buff bars a uh, green ability as opposed to a negative red so of course it is fairly useless but it can mess with people quite often um, there is some footage which I didn't actually record I don't think where I start messing with people's minds outside of Orgrimmar and the PTR of course there are lots of limitations need to be put into this uh, particular buff obviously because you know the implications of going out and just rooting somebody on live during a duel is obviously going to be griefing so there are lots of things that need to be done to alter this or indeed you know blizzard needs to find out where they want to use this uh, or if they want to use it at all it's it's really random but anyway that's my first look at this buff item whether or not that will go into live in any condition like it is in this video is completely bizarre but you may see people on the PTR trolling you with these walls and this is exactly how they did it. So spread this around to your friends, be sure to like this video, subscribe to Ace Games TV, we've got lots of 5.4 footage coming to you weekly. So stay tuned and thank you for watching my video. My name's Ben Miani and I'll see you next time. You can't mount but you can be on my mount, that's hilarious. Look at Get a picture of it like on its ba on its hind legs, so it looks like it's tipping over backwards. Yeah, like get a picture like that. That would be amazing yeah. for a thumbnail. Alex, I'm fucked with people. I right, see if you can do it.